Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope you are fine Welcome back to Kukar Pintar channel with me, Miftahul Janah And today's lesson, we are going to talk about chapter 4 Things around us focus on animals Today's lesson, based on Cambridge English YouTube channel and Government Book Revision 2017 in this lesson, you will identify the names of animals and then identify the expression how to ask and tell the name and also the number of animals. Alright student, do you ever go to the zoo? What can you see at the zoo? Now let's watch the video and pay attention with the animals on the video. Alright, now, can you mention the animals in the video? Good. Now, listen and repeat. Sheep. Sheep. Lizard. Lizard. Goat. Goat 
elephant, elephant, giraffe, giraffe, spider, spider, monkey, monkey, tiger, tiger, mouse, mouse, snake, snake, bird, bird, frog, frog, crocodile, crocodile, dog, dog, hippo, hippo, duck, duck, cow, cow, chicken, chicken, horse, horse. Now let's try to complete this table to make a plural form of the animals. Sekarang kita coba membuat bentuk plural dari nama-nama hewan yang ada di sini. I'll give you some time to do it. Have you finished? Let's check the answer together. Nah, seperti yang kalian lihat dalam jawabannya, rata-rata nama binatang pada saat dia berubah menjadi plural form atau bentuk plural atau berjumlah lebih dari satu, maka dia cukup diberi tambahan S atau ES di belakang nama binatang tersebut. The exception, pengecualian bagi binatang mouse. Pada kata atau animal mouse, pada saat dia berubah menjadi plural, maka dia berubah menjadi kata mice. Jadi, tolong diingat ya, kata mice adalah bentuk plural dari mouse. Sedangkan untuk hewan lainnya atau binatang lainnya, cukup dengan menambahkan akhiran S atau ES di belakang nama binatangnya. Bird, birds. Lion, lions. Snake, snakes. Hippo, hippos. Dan sebagainya. Please practice with your friends or your family at your home.